The new Resident Evil 2 DLC titled The Ghost Survivors is the epitome of unfair, disappointing, and extremely half-hearted murdering any fundamental value with that experience. You might be thinking I'm being overly negative about the game, but this is only proper criticism directed at the new DLC alone. Believe me, the core game itself was a surprising appetizer with enough subverted expectations to keep all pros on their toes when going for that sweet and coveted S plus rank on hardcore difficulty. I've ran circles around 4 Survivor itself, almost completed Tofu Survivor as well before unfortunately running empty on knives during the last skirmish. The name Ghost Survivors did tell me exactly what I was in for, more 4 Survivor inspired content, so I certainly didn't think it was a misnomer with the content I received. A lot of people were under the impression that these what if scenarios of dead side characters coming back to life meant that we were going to get some preferable story content. I'm split on that debate. On one hand, I wasn't really fooled by this decision considering the short development cycle for this DLC, but on the other hand, considering Capcom made a full retail game that was a giant what if scenario, then who wouldn't want to play fun story DLC content like that, huh? Even if it took longer to create I think it would have been a quality piece of criteria over this abomination. Let me explain why I felt Ghost Survivors was disappointing from my perspective alongside a brief interlude of a breakdown with the selectable modes. You play as four characters, a USS soldier, Robert Kendo, a thought with inappropriate dress wear, and Sheriff Daniel Cortini. The first three characters have similar goals while you need to unlock the last character for an unlockable title No Way Out. It's a bit interesting, but we'll talk about that distinct mode later. You basically need to meet all the goals and escape each sprawling area within Raccoon City. It sounds easier than it looks, huh? They even allow the player character to pick up items from a candy dispenser or backpacks that will give you the slight edge during those frantic moments. The problem with Ghost Survivors comes from the artificially difficult nature of the mode itself. It is for survivor on steroids, unrelenting. I couldn't even process half of this bullshit as a veteran player. For example, the enemy placement is often nonsensical, like placing numerous plant monsters and forgotten soldier alongside five fucking zombies who might have the tendency to stun lock you into oblivion before you get insta killed by Mr. Marijuana himself. At the end of Catherine's story, the entire jail cell is caked with zombies you need to get past. With the addition of poisonous enemies and pale heads who walk towards you faster, there is no way to deal with all of these situations at first until you realize very distinctive patterns and gathering specific weapons you need from the candy dispensers. I don't think the correlation of training mode, which is baby mode, to enjoy yourself and playing on the higher difficulties, which if you want to challenge yourself, you won't even have the same loadouts. I don't think that works in terms of teaching you what to expect fully because your tools change. You have higher loadouts on training mode, you have more items, you have stuff you won't even get on the standard difficulties that just increase the difficulties from there and it makes things into a crapshoot of trial and error since you have a lack of ammo. It's like you're going to have to die before you realize, hey, where is this particular grenade or backpack to clear a path to these areas? It just feels like a kick in the balls since you can lose items because you can't backtrack through doors and you can only take one item from a dispenser at a time. Once you take one item, you're locked out of the other two items, so choose wisely, and initial loadouts are woefully low to deal with multiple enemies. I'm sure someone is going to say, get good scrub, or die a thousand deaths and learn. You see, that complaint of skill doesn't hide the fact that some of these sections are terribly designed, like the basketball section with Catherine with three liquors and you need a backpack and there's a zombie there and you need to get the old key. You need to trigger him to escape. You can't normally walk away to not trigger the liquors on your first encounter, so I'm pretty sure there's a strat, but at the same time, 
placing three enemies that can move faster than you in one area alongside a key item is annoying and so absurd man oh my god to be fair there's a few takeaways they fixed in this mode that i readily noticed the double zombie lunging seems to be gone now that's cool and i did notice that the zombies that tend to tag team you take you to the ground and do double damage they don't seem to do it at all in ghost survivors from what i noticed it even seems like strats go out of the window when you play on no way out with the final hordes of the game and speaking of that mode it's the only decent mode in the dlc a full-on enemy gauntlet with zombies enclosed in one space and the enemies drop random loot they drop random explosives and you have to plan accordingly i really did think this mode was decent to stay alive i loved it i i, I just love this mode in particular and the other three modes were readily frustrating as i said it's a faster process dealing with that mode than the other three and it's more simple and i like simplicity in my resident evil modes they make them more effective when they do that in conclusion i think even if it's free DLC, Ghost Survivors felt like a large waste of time. It pales in comparison to the readily good post-game content that we've gotten in the Resident Evil series like Mercenaries, Separate Ways, or Extreme Battle. Simple and effective should be the name of the game. If I'm going to deal with 30 bio freaks in a corridor at least, then make it somewhat manageable that aligns with the concurrent level designs tailored for these enemies. Until then, people, this is Renegade Operative signing off. This is my rant on Ghost Survivors. Again, there is some decency to be had with No Way Out, but I found the DLC ultimately to be a disappointment. Even if it's free, I felt like I partially wasted my time. And free content can be judged just like any content in a video game. Let's not be saps here, people. Let's not be suck ups. You know it's true. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. What did you think about Ghost Survivors personally? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Sound off in the comments below and let me know. And I will see you soon. Peace out.